Hey guys, Mike here. All right guys, stress testing. So a lot of people out there are saying the 5950X runs hot. AMD saying that that's normal for the chip. It can get up to 90 Celsius at full load um, with no worries. So if I can keep everything below 90 Celsius, I'll be super excited. So let's go ahead and load up ADA and let's see how hot we can get this thing. All right guys, so the CPU temperature right now is around 48 Celsius. I do have OBS running. But without anything running, my idle temps hover around 35 to 37 Celsius, and I'll take that any day. Um, I'm reading a lot online that other users are getting anywhere from, shoot, 40 to 50 Celsius idle. Some people are hitting 70, 80, 90 Celsius at full load. So I'll take 35 to 37 any day of the week. So let's go ahead and start the stress test here. Uh, da -da. I'm just going to go ahead and run... Um, the CPU. We're not going to do the GPU together. So let's start this. All right, guys, I'm going to let that run for about five minutes so we can get an accurate temperature reading. So let's talk a little bit about what my idle temps are. So my idle temps around 35 to 37 Celsius, and that's amazing considering from what I'm reading, a lot of users are getting idle temps anywhere from 40 Celsius all the way up to 65. So I'll take 35, 37 all day long. But I think a lot of that has to do with the radiators that I'm running in this build. Um, I am using Hardware Labs' Black Ice Nemesis editions, their GTS. Um, those are their slim radiators, and they're supposed to be rated um, as the best low RPM rads out there. I mean, there could be something else that's better now, but um, it's already looking good considering the idle temps are between 35 and 37 Celsius. And as I stated in a previous video of mine, Quietness is very important for me um, when I'm doing a PC build. I don't want to have my computer sounding like a jet engine taking off. So all the fans in the Megatron build are locked at 900 RPMs. So let's jump back on and take a look at ADA. Let's see what our, our average temperature is at full load after five minutes. All right, guys. So it looks like that the CPU temperature is stabilized around 58 Celsius. So that's not bad at all at, at max load. Again, I'll take that any day of the week, especially over 90 Celsius. So let's go ahead and stop this. All right, guys, 57 Celsius. I'll take that all day long. That is an absolutely great temperature for a, uh, a max load um, CPU test, especially on the 5950X, considering a lot of people um, are talking about a lot higher temperatures than 57 Celsius. It's a lot lower than AMD's 90 Celsius that they state that the 5950X can reach and it would be safe. So now let's go back into ADA and let's go ahead and test the CPU and the GPU at the same time and see what temperatures we get there. All right, guys, so maxing out completely everything, the CPU seems to have stabilized around 67, 68C. The GPU is around 68C. And then the GPU hotspot is around 83, 84 Celsius. All right, guys, so that definitely got a little hotter. Um, the average temperature was around 67 Celsius up to about 69 Celsius. So still not too bad. The GPU was up in the 60s. Um, I think the hottest spot on the GPU was around like 82 um, Celsius, but all within safe parameters. Now, these aren't like real world applications anyways. I mean, you're never going to run your PC with your GPU maxed out 100% and your CPU, all your cores and threads maxed maxed out. So considering all that was being done and the max CPU temp was like 69 Celsius, it's not the 90 Celsius that AMD is saying that the 5950X can reach, then these radiators are definitely doing their job. And as being sold as some of the best slim radiators you can buy out there running really low RPM fans, they definitely live up to the hype and I can't recommend them enough. Like I stated before, I have them locked in at 900 RPMs and those are the temperatures that I'm getting. So super, super excited. Um, these tests came out better than, than I expected. So now the next test that I'll be doing is I'll be playing with the GPU. We'll be doing some benchmarks on a few games and I'm hoping I can have that video up to you guys within a week. But that's all I got for today, guys. As always, stay safe, stay healthy. I appreciate you and I'll see you in the next one.